Welcome back, all you EV3 and Robot C programmers. <laughs> programmers. Uh, I want to talk to you about a better way to do movement using the set uh, sync motor encoder. Um, here it is set motor sync encoder. There's what we call it. Uh, we've got a motor one, uh, and then I don't know why they call it motor one, and I think that's motor two. All right, but we got the first motor to be synchronized, second motor to be synchronized, a turn ratio, an encoder count, and a signed power. Signed meaning that you can have a negative or a positive. Here are the example in the code. Do you want it to go straight? All right, the, the key is what kind of a turn do you want? Um, do you want it to have no turn? You give it zero. You want to power to the left, give it, or you want to make it go to the right? Set it 100. Now, notice this is your left and your right. So you want to make sure your left motor is, is identified first and your right motor second, or else these turns don't work the way you intend them to. So let's go back and uh, let's take a look at the code. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this right here because I want to have that available. Notice you do have to add sleep. If you don't add sleep, it doesn't work. First thing I'm going to do is create a speed variable. I don't know if I did that in my last video or not. Uh, the, beauty, the beauty of a speed variable is that you set it once. Uh, at like, and by the way, we're, to set it, you declare what kind of a data type it is. It's an integer. We give it a name called speed, and we're going to set it to, let's try 35, for example. Let's say we want to give it a power of 35 in our speed. Okay, so then um, we're going to just drive forward one rotation. Um, like so. And I'm just going to paste, like I said, it's set motor sync encoder. And then uh, one of the things you need to know is your motor sensor setup. I've named my right and my left motors, and I have the drive motor side right, left. All right, give them names in here. Click OK. Um, and so remember, we do the left one first, then we do the right. And then we're going to give it zero, which means go forward. And then uh, we're going to give it the number of rotations, the motor encoder, 360 is a complete rotation. And then on here, we're going to give it the, the, the power we want to give, and that's speed, the variable we created. And that's drive forward, run rotation. Let's see if we can get this thing working on our robot. And I have my window here so you can see. Um, I don't have my robot built. I know, it's very sad. But I just wanted to show you here... Um, and I wanted you to see the way these little markings are here and here. So you can gives you a little bit better way of seeing um, how they are doing. And then we're just going to go ahead and start it. Okay, what did I do wrong? Let's see. Oh, I have no weight. So let's do a weight one millisecond. I think sleep is another way we can do it. I'm going to try that. Oh, compile, download. Here we go. One more time. I think it should work now. Hold these two together. Hopefully you can see them. Let's go ahead and start. There you go. Run it again. And remember, we are working on making them more accurate. And so let's change speed. Let's give it a greater speed. Let's try 65. See what happens with the speed of 65. Does that help? I mean, is it more, is it less consistent or not? So I think if it's going to be inconsistent, we're going to see it here. You hear that sound? Now, this one's a little bit lower than the other, but if you look here, this is like spot on. I'm just going to keep doing it a few times because I want to try to get it off. Yeah, this le this uh, left one is off, and that is the one I set up to be left. That is interesting um, on different powers. Okay, well, you know what? This is not the most precise hardware, um, and so there's something to be said. Uh, I definitely think if you're putting too much speed in there, that can cause more of those problems. But this should at least get you started. And so um, let's say we want to drive backward. One rotation. 
Okay. Now, um, what we can do is we can try a couple different things. Uh, what I want to try is we go ahead and copy this. I think we can set it. Uh, uh, zero means the same. I think we're going to have to just put negative speed. So let's just see if that does it. It should go forward and then backward. Let's try it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And let's scale this back 35. And then we'll do a hard right turn. And then same thing here, only now we're going to give it a value of 100. And uh, so that should be hard right, which if this is set up correctly, and I don't know how well it is, uh, a right hand turn would mean this one would power, this one, this one would go forward, and this one would go backward. Try it again. That's forward, backward. Okay. One of the things I noticed that this one actually went backward, and so it was the opposite of what I thought it would do. It might be because I did. No, it's positive speed. Let's try negative, uh, and then we'll try that again. Of course, the better way to do it is actually just put it on a working robot and test it out. Forward, backward. All right. Okay. Well, there you have it. Uh, at least get you started. And notice because I gave a variable of speed, I didn't have to go in and change it for all of these. If I want to change my speed now to 50, I just change it here. And all of these are set to change because they have the variable speed. Well, I hope this helps, and good luck with your programming.